Coming up, we'll take a closer look at a local festival giving Fayetteville students a chance to shine and find out more about a local initiative to help protect a beloved landmark. We'll also learn about a group of students here at FHS who help honor our very own FHS alumni. I'm Laura Kate Moore. And I'm Caitlin Shaw. Welcome to Breaking the Leash. Welcome back to this month's edition of Breaking the Leash. Thank you for joining us. The Fayetteville Roots Festival is an event showcasing the unique music and food from our region. Over the three-day event, thousands of people gather in town for numerous concerts and specialty food spread out over downtown Fayetteville. FHS TV reporter Jake Travis gives us a behind-the-scenes look at a group of FHS students who got a chance to work this special event. Brightwater is a premier culinary class here at FHS. Some of the students got the opportunity to work at the Roots Festival. Uh, the planning for Roots Fest actually kind of begins about three to four months ahead um, and, and it sort of kind of also perpetuates itself all year. There's, there's many different irons in the fire when it comes to that, but as far as like planning the recipes and the food and stuff like that, we really started about a month ahead of time. Now actually chopping and prepping, that was that, was that week. So. In the morning we did a few prep works for a few people, but then after school we show up around four and we helped random people prep. I fried mushrooms. I did just random things, anything that needed help with. It was a lot of running around for people because, I mean, there's a lot of people above you at that state. You're in high school. We also just, uh, we worked with food insecure populations and food pantries, and, and we used the proceeds from that to, uh, to help those areas. Okay, so our day-to-day, -day, um, we're usually cooking breakfast. It's so early, it is very early in the morning, like 7.15, so we get meals in, or we'll, we're making something that isn't specifically for that breakfast, just for onward. The other day we made apple jam and onion jam, which were both really good, that we just build more recipes on top of it. We're currently reading a book called The Omnivore's Dilemma, which Mr. Bell absolutely loves that book, because it talks about food systems. A big thing we're talking about is food systems and how we get our food or food safety and like how to protect our customers and how to be right in sanitation. Uh, the Roots Festival is important because it's a nonprofit that uh, that helps. Uh, we feed a lot of food insecure people, and we also um, do a lot with musicians. No one's necessarily asking for donations of Roots Fest, so they really love that, and they, and they would be happy to do it. And you can do it on their their website. Um, but ultimately, they just want people to enjoy their programming, and then they'll take the proceeds for that, and then they'll uh, they'll help people with that. I love cooking. I love everything about the class. It's so wonderful. It's so worth getting up in the morning. It's just it's wonderful. If you're interested in culinary arts, be sure to look for Brightwater when CAP comes around. For FHS TV, I'm Tim Traxon. Thanks, Jake, and congrats to the FHS Brightwater students for getting this special opportunity. The Markham Hill area of Fayetteville is 300 acres of the last undisturbed forest in our city, and its historical relevance spans decades. With many historical cabins, buildings, and Native American sites, the area's historical relevance has become important to help protect the land from urbanization. FHS TV reporter Thomas Owens shows us how people of this city are trying to help save this significant piece of Fayetteville. Markham Hill is known as the last undisturbed urban forest left in Fayetteville and has recently been under threats of development and deforestation. We don't have much time left to save it, and with the community support so far, many residents are ready to take action. Watching Markham Hill change is a little bit of, it's, it's a difficult process to watch. So like on one hand, I know that we need more housing in Fayetteville and that we have a housing shortage. Um, however, these homes are being built for ultra rich people. Not a lot of people are going to be able to afford to move into those homes up there. Um, I find it really sad to see spaces like this that we can't ever get back go away. 
it would make such a beautiful, you know, place for people to go, um, a beautiful park, a beautiful place for people to um, relax and enjoy the scenery and enjoy the wilderness right in the middle of Fayetteville. So it's a really hard thing for me to watch happen. Going up the road, Markham Road, that's where they first deforested. And it was really horrible. It was intact urban forest, four acres right here. Every morning it's at seven, they would start the crunching and the grinding as they, the bulldozers push down the trees and then they ground them up. How can we save Markham Hill? I mean, I, <laughs> I think that with people's um, involvement in the Save Markham Hill movement, um, it's possible to get that message out, but unless there's a buyer out there somewhere that's got the money to purchase it from the real estate group, I don't know if it's possible. We need to save Markham Hill, so please go to the website below for more details. For FHS TV, I'm Thomas Owens. Thanks, Thomas. And be sure to follow the Save the Markham Hill hashtag on social media and follow up on the movement's website for more information on how to help. The Hall of Honor is an award given by the Fayetteville Public Education Foundation and it commemorates those who have demonstrated extraordinary fidelity, honor, and service to Fayetteville Public Schools and our community. This award is given to a former student and those community members at a banquet where their names are engraved on the walls here at FHS. Our reporter Taylor Barnes takes us behind the scenes of a club here at FHS that helps organize this special event each year. SAA, or the Student Alumni Association, is an FHS club dedicated to serving the community with events such as Hall of Honor or the Celebration of Excellence. SAA was created in 2019, around that time. Um, it was created with the purpose of trying to get students involved with um, the foundation and then as alumni um, after they graduate from FHS. We created signs. We also have put posters all around school, so we try to promote school spirit. So our role in the Fayetteville Public Education Foundation with the SAA is to organize um, some of the events that they're involved in, like Hall of Honor, Celebration of Excellence, to help them network with existing alumni that are still around in the area. We have an adult alumni association also through the Fayetteville Public Education Foundation, um, and they can start to work with us. I think this year we're working on incorporating them more in our events. The Hall of Honor was created in 1997 as a way to honor alumni, former educators, and, um, and patrons of Fayetteville Public Schools. SAA participates um, as volunteers for the Hall of Honor, so they serve in roles um, as servers, at registration. It allows them to be in the room full of um, not only the honorees, but their families and their connections as well. Three alumni are chosen by a panel and honored for their outstanding contributions. We've got Mike Malone, who was FHS um, class of 1987. He was um, the director of the Northside Arkansas Council. He's also the director of economic development at the University of Arkansas now. Susan Mays Carney, she was a former teacher at Woodland Junior High School. Um, she taught gymnastics. Caleb Smith, um, FHS graduate of 1995. He is a professor at Yale. Um, he has been um, an acclaimed author for a long time. He's for more information about the club or the honorees themselves, please visit SAA on Instagram or you can go to the link on your screen. I'm Taylor Barnes with FHS TV. Thanks, Taylor. That's all we have for this edition of Breaking the Leash. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at FHS TV Fateful High for all new shows and live events. And make sure to check out our Instagram at FHS Bulldog TV to stay up to date with the news around the school and in the community. I'm Caitlin Shaw. And I'm Laura Kate Moore. We'll see you next time. <laughs>